organization's objective is to uh, grow and promote and educate people about college hockey. In college hockey, we didn't have an organization that spoke for the entire body of college hockey. And since the advent of College Hockey Inc., we have that now. And uh, it certainly helped us get the word out about what a great experience college hockey is. And yeah, you get the student section uh, when they're rocking. I know at Northeastern, for me, our student section was unbelievable. We had the doghouse there. Um, when we played teams like BC, uh, BU, the Bean Pod, the Bean Pod was one of the greatest experiences I've ever had in my life. Um, you know, the whole Boston, Boston Garden sold out, and a lot of them are students, so it's a fun time. Well, I think the game's changed so much, and, and college hockey's you know very comparable and very competitive to major junior now. And it just it gives you know kids an opportunity to get educated, to you know to earn a degree, to have something to fall back. So you know, uh, God willing, they make the NHL and they live out their dream. Uh, after they retire, they have something to fall back on. And that's the thing about college hockey; it goes so much further than than hockey. You know, you meet people outside of the game in in the dorms, and maybe meet uh, you know a wrestler, or you meet some kid who's studying aerospace engineering, and that becomes a friend of yours for the rest of your life. Well, obviously, they're going to have decisions whether to go the college hockey route or not, based on you know when you're a young kid, you have to decide whether it's junior or college hockey, and everybody's different, and, and you know you have to make your own decisions. But for me, you know, there's so much more that goes in life with hockey and after hockey that's correlated with college hockey. You get so many experiences that can help you on the ice and off the ice. And you see guys from college hockey now being, you know, high high top end draft picks, you know, every year. Our numbers go as far back as 1996. In 1996, there were six men from California playing Division I hockey. Today, with roughly the same number of Division I hockey programs, there were 59 players playing Division I hockey last year. I believe that's the sixth uh, state up producing the most uh, Division I hockey players. Number nine at the University of Denver, 12 years in a row, being a California-based kid. Yeah, I think it's huge when someone can see someone like Bo Bennett, who wore number nine at Denver, <laughs> one of those uh, for two years. Them doing it homegrown, too, because the coaching and the ability to get better here and staying here in California now, so you don't need to leave home, and that's huge. It's been in recent years that uh, California has exploded in terms of uh, developing players. I think here in Southern California, there are a lot of ex-pros who wind up coaching young players in youth hockey, and so they're taught the, the proper fundamentals. They're very well prepared. I'm Lieutenant Rocco and uh, I went to the University of North Dakota from uh, 2011 to 2014. It was one of the greatest decisions of my life. Uh, I could have went the junior route, I thought about it a lot. I feel like just about my age group and a little older is really the first class that's, that's gone out and has played in juniors and in college and in pro even. And, and uh, it's great to see a lot of the guys I grew up playing with are in the NHL right now. Uh, and I can think of a few, Bo Bennett, Emerson Needham, Matt Nieto, and obviously there's more. Uh, but it's great to see, you know, we've been playing with and against each other for years and, and, and it's just so cool to see guys that you, you grew up playing with playing the NHL and being successful as well.